Gambians are still asking questions about the imported chicken into the country. Like, why are we only seeing the left leg? Where is the right leg of the chicken? Recently, many Gambians are becoming poultry farmers with the aim of providing better and more healthy food for the Gambian people. Ah. Providing affordable and a very good feed for the chickens to lay more eggs and grow faster becomes the most important thing for the farmers. This is the mission of Asan Seka, the managing director and Bintu Sose, the CEO of Gamholan's Heaven's Feed. Asan Seka, the managing director, tells us how they started Gamholan Heaven's Feed. Yeah, we have a poultry farm and then the poultry farm started with uh, 2,000 birds. As we are uh, increasing the, the numbers of the bird, feed become an issue. Yeah, we were, uh, there was a time we have around 6,000 layers and then with, with that 6,000 layers, feed become an, a big issue. Then, uh, you know, we normally buy the Senegalese feed and then the availability feed was a problem. And sometimes the type of feed that you might need, you might go to the market and then it's not available. And then the ferry crossing and all those things, you might go to the feed vendors and then they said uh, there's no feed coming because of the ferry is, is standing or only one ferry is running or there is a fee, the ferry has a problem. So then we decided to produce, produce our own feed. I have a background of feed. Uh, feed milling. Uh, that's what I learned. That's what I was doing. I am. Um, I was working in uh, at Empire's Poultry Farm as a feed processing uh, manager for almost seven years. Then we decided to use that uh, my my experience to produce the feed for ourselves. The first intention was to produce the feed for ourselves, but recently we we, we realized that there was a you know the, the problem was not only with uh, with us but also with the other feed uh, with the other poultry farmers feed was a problem for them so we decided to produce the feed to our own farm and also some of the farmers who who will also interested of the of the of the feed then we start the production and then people become interested interested with it then we start selling that's how we transform it as a company. Seka went further to tell us the capacity of feed they can produce daily. We have capacity to produce 300 bags per day, which is 15 tons of okay. feed. Okay. Yeah, but we always produce from 150, 160 to 200 maximum per day. Why is that happening? Yeah, because those are the customers that we have. That's just the, the, the other one is is a gap that we cannot fill. When we are buying, purchasing the machines, we, 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 our target was to supply the whole country. But that's not happening because there are some other people buying from Senegal and then that's the gap in between. That's why we are not producing the... Okay, the, other people buying from Senegal. What, what is the difference here? Is it, is it that uh, the Senegalese feed is more cheaper or more quality than yours? No, I think it's just a concept. We are always more cheaper than Senegal, even at least $100 per bag most of the time. But the problem is the concept. Yeah, some people, you know, they have they have been having a bad experience with the Gambia, with the local product because of the knowledge, because of other you know factors that they are not you know really need to risk their investment and then buying in a local this thing. Some of the people also you know they think everything Gambian is not good, so they decided to. Uh, buy the Senegalese product and some people have been you know selling the Senegalese product and then is, is their source of income and then you know they don't want to stop it any anymore they just want to still go and buy and then come and sell so those people try to convince some of those people to at least continue buying from them what inspired the name Gam Holland itself yeah number one is a political word because uh, we believe that Gambians do not respect their fallen Gambians in terms of 
their capability or their experience and or everything. Yeah. So they prefer most of the time that something that is foreign. Yeah. That's one. Secondly, also we are buying 20% uh, of our raw materials in Holland. And then that 20% we, we collaborate with a company called Havens. And then they are helping us in terms of technical aspect. And also they are also doing our analysis, our feed analysis for free. So that's the essence of, of the gum Holland itself. Yeah, we are working with a lot of people in Holland in terms of uh, technical assurance and also quality assurance too. Knowing well uh, that uh, people are used to buy feed from Senegal, what makes you think that people will choose to buy from you instead of the Senegal? Yeah, one is quality, two is availability. Yeah, we are, we, when, whenever you are here, you have feed and also the extra service that we do, we advise the farmers. We also deliver for them for free. We also give them technical advice, control their data and all those things, and monitor their production and all those things. So that's the added advantage. We train farmers, you know, help them to establish, give them free consultancy fee and all those things, so that they can at least improve themselves in terms of managing their poultry farms. And also sometimes we rare for them. We make sure the availability of other inputs, like the day old chicks, is available for them. The equipments also are available for them. What strategy do you use in the beginning to, to sell this product? Yeah, it was very difficult. We we lose a lot of money to introduce our product. When we started, uh, there are some farmers who will not want to risk their birds to take something local. That something that they have never they have tried never before. Tried before. Yeah. Some of them, we normally give them the feed for free and then ask them if they give a, if they have a result, they pay. If they don't have a result, then we lose. That's what we were doing mm -hmm. at the beginning. And then with that, we were able to convince a lot of farmers also. And then we also have a farm where we give the, 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 the feed and then with that results, we take the farmers there to see what we are doing. And then they also see that there is a result in our farm and our farm is an exemplary sample to, 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 to the feed. So they try to add all the feed and then that's, that's how we build up that, that customer data. And then the advantage that we have is uh, if people want to start the business, they normally come and we give them advice how to start. We give them the, the foundational information and then so that they, can, they, can, they know where to start and what to start with. And then we also help them to sell their products most of the time. So that also is an added advantage to it. Finally, what, what advice would you have uh, for somebody who has the money to invest into a, a business in this country, especially when it comes to this poultry? Uh, the advice that I will give them is one, when they have, when they have their money, let them prepare a budget before they start. That's very important. Because there are a lot of people when they when when they want to invest in a poultry farm, they just ask for the uh, the price of the birds. After knowing the price of the bird, it becomes cheap, and then they buy a lot, while the feed is very expensive. So what they do is sometimes they rear the bird until maybe if at all it delays, they rear them until one or two months they cannot feed it anymore. At the end of the day, they become you know bankrupt. They could not, you know, they are, they, they are all investment in my parish. So it's very important before doing it, look for some uh, knowledge about it. Because in poultry, you need treating. You need the knowledge, you need the finance, and then you need the passion. If those three, three are not there, it's better you forget about it. Those three are very important. And also, if you are doing it, you need a technical advice before you start it. Not only financial, but technical. The technical is very important, how to construct the house, what will be the dimension of the house, you know, how many birds do you want to buy, what should be the equipment. The equipment, when we talk of the equipment, we need, we, we, are, we, we, we are talking of the drinkers and then the feeders that you need in, in the house, you know, the, the, the health calendar, you know, all those things are very, very, very important. It might be a basic this thing, and then the ventilation, the orientation of the house, you know. The, all those things are very important. Because in poetry, everything, some, so many people think that you, you don't need to go to school or you don't need to learn to do it. You just, you know, need to have the passion and then start it. No. 
you have to calculate the number of the births that you, are, you want to do and then that has to be equals to the, uh, the, 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 the size of the house. It also has to be equals to the, to the amount of drinkers and feeders that you need. If the evaporator is the latest, then you need the same amount. You have to calculate it with the lateness. When we talk of lateness, it's the where the birds will enter and leave. All those things are very important to know before, before, before you could start uh, a poultry, poultry farm. Uh, my wish and my aspiration is to sell feed to the whole country so that you know we could at least sustain the the, 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 the industry because we cannot be producing and then also want to want to sustain that production you know in, in somebody's hand we have to be independent of where we can get our birds which is the devil chicks and then the feed we have to be independent in that aspect so if we are not independent in that aspect then we cannot sustain our our our, our industry